Okay, so this is a short video to uh, help you analyze the data for the RC circuits experiment. When you open the RC circuits experiment uh, or capstone file, you're going to see four tabs here, four pages. So we're, first one is for the potential differences across the capacitor, which is the channel A, and across the resistor, which is channel B here. Then the second tab here is the table that gives you potential differences, uh, numerical values across the capacitor and the resistor for given times. You're gonna use this tab when you're asked to find out the values for VC and VR at two, three, and five time constants. Then uh, this one here, LVC versus T, is to linearize the uh, potential difference uh, equation and plot ln of uh, 1 minus Vc over V0 as a function of time. And then this one is for the discharging process to linearize the equation and plot the equation uh, ln of Vc over V0 versus time and get the slope. From these slopes, you will calculate the uh, capacitance of the capacitor. Okay, so first, uh, you run the data collection and these are the charging curves for the capacitor for the potential difference across the capacitor and potential difference across the resistor is a green line. So you see this uh, maximum value to which capacitor is going to charge. It will change from semester to semester, but as you can see, it starts off as zero and then slowly builds up and then reaches the maximum value. Where for the VR, it starts off at the maximum value and then slowly reduces down to nearly zero. The reason for this is because the fully charged capacitor in a circuit acts as an open switch, so no current will flow through the circuit anymore, and then essentially the potential difference across the capacitor will be equal to zero because due to the Ohm's law if the current is equal to zero then the potential difference will be equal to zero okay so once you have this uh, set of data for the charging process you're going to go to here this uh, LVC tab LVC versus T tab and then click on the calculator and then here, what you're going to do is, let me just try and bring this a little bit closer. Okay, pardon my moving, I'm doing this with my cell phone. So for the equation here, you're going to type LVC is equal LN, then open parenthesis, one, minus then open parenthesis again here on this triangle you're going to where it says insert data you're going to click here and select voltage for channel a and then that is your vc and then divided by the maximum value v0 that is assigned by your ta for the purposes of this video only i selected my v0 to be 4.0 so it's going to 4.0 and then close the parenthesis and then I'm going to click accept units are going to be none so you see here my equation is red and the reason for that is because I'm missing a um, another parenthesis here that is closed I'm going to close another parenthesis and then click on accept and then my equation so when the equation is red that means that you're missing something and it will actually tell you what the error is okay once you have this equation then you're going to click on calculator again close and then you're going to click on select a measurement and then choose lvc here okay so this gives you uh i collected the data for charging and discharging so this gives you for both sets of data uh for me here my run number four is for the charging process so i'm just going to click here to select this set of the data then i am going to go to my uh here it says highlight range of the points for act, uh, for inactive data i'm going to click on that and then bring it and select this straight portion of the graph here. Then I need the slope. I'm gonna click here on the one, two, three, four, fifth icon, drop down menu, and then use the linear.
so that's my slope then to print this graph what I'm gonna do here I'm going to click on um, Okay, that happened. I am going to click on the drop down menu where it says the data here on the third icon and then just uncheck number three and only have a uh, run number four. And then I'm going to uh, scale this. Of course, the, uh, this is perfect. <laughs> this is showing all the wrong things that can go wrong so I'm just gonna remove this linear fit and then scale the graph so this is the graph highlight the data that you want to use I only have run number four here and then I'm going to click and select a linear fit uh, and then I want only the straight portion of the line okay so that's it to print this you're going to click here on annotate and then you're going to type the names of all of your group members then you're going to click on file and then select print preview so note that there is a four pages here so you're gonna go to page number four using these arrows then you want this in the landscape mode then you're going to click here on the printer and then it says pages do not select all click here on pages and then just type 4-4 and then click on print and that will come out to your printer okay so then the next part is you need to record the values for VC and VR at 2, 3, and 5 tau after you use this slope and calculated the capacitance of the capacitor. So then you're going to click here. Here are the times. You're just going to go down, find the appropriate time, and then record the value for VC, that's channel A, and value for V are here that's channel B. During the charging process, VC plus VR should be equal to 4. Okay, so then when you're done with that, here, let's click on the data selector and then check run number three in my case. In your case, it will be run number two and get the curves. So the blue curve is for the discharging process for the uh, capacitor and the green curve is a potential difference for during the discharging process on the resistor. So you see where this is leading because you cut out the uh, power supply, the sum of the potential differences across the capacitor plus potential difference across the resistor throughout the whole process is going to be equal to zero. Okay, so then to linearize the equation to get the slope, you're going to click on the, his page number five, LVD versus T. Then you're gonna click on calculator and then under spot where it says equation number two, or you can just click here on new equation. And then what's on the left hand side is L, LVD. So that is equal to LN, open parenthesis. So now it's a VC. So I'm gonna check uh, VC. So here, same as before on the data selector, channel A voltage and then that is divided by V0. Again, this V0 is only for the purposes of this video, 4.0, and then close parenthesis, and then click on accept, and then units are none. Okay, so once you're done with that, you're going to click on calculator again to close that, click here on select measurements, and then select LVD. Again, it will gonna, it's, it's going to show you all the data that you run, so you're just gonna click here on the third icon, this little triangle, uh, drop down menu, and then select the run that is um, for your data. And then you are going to click on the data select highlight here. Okay, make sure, so I'm run number three, that highlight the data. I'm gonna use and then click on the uh, linear here 
and this is my uh, slope. Again, to print, you can actually move this around, type your names, make sure that you say that this is a discharging process, and then uh, you're going to click on File here, Print Preview, Go, you are in the good page, LVD versus LVD, then you are going to click on print and then print for each member of the group. And that's it. When you're done, you're going to close this without saving the data and that's it.